Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to get your rejected Facebook ad to be approved. As you can see here, it says we rejected your ad. It looks like your ad contains content that is not allowed on Meta's advertising platform. This goes against, this goes against our advertising standard, community standard, or terms of service. And they are saying visit this to understand why. Then if you, there are two ways. So you can either click here and go and look at the policy they are saying, or alternatively, you can just come back to the, uh, the main interface of the ad manager and click on the ads. And when you click on the ads, um, you scroll down and you see any rejected advert showing. So this is a rejected, this is the one they rejected. So when you see the rejected one, you hover around it, and then you come here. So when you can click on this um, drop down arrow, then go to business home. Then when you go to business home, now the purpose of doing what I'm showing you is to know the policy you have violated so that you can tackle it accordingly. So when you come here, uh, they are saying that the policy violated is fraud, scams, and deceptive practices. They are asking me to take action. So in taking action, I can either delete uh, or edit it or uh, request a second review. Now, when you click on take action here, let's see what they will say. You see, um, it says that you can. I can request review or edit it. And it says what the, why this happened. Looks like your ad promote misleading job offers or opportunities. This goes against the advertising standard of fraud, scams, and deceptive practices. Now let's go and see what I said, that they are targeting it as deceptive and misleading. Now, if you come back to the rejected ad, just click on the edit. And then I'm inside the ad manager, uh, uh, the ad level. Now, when you read here, this is what I said. I said struggling to make ends meet in today's economy finding it difficult to find an effective way to sell online, feeling underemployed or um, unemployed, it is time to take control of your financial future. Now, if you read all of this, I'm just say, telling people that I train people how to do Facebook and Instagram ad, Facebook monetization, YouTube monetization, TikTok monetization, and all that. That is what I'm training. And then basically, probably the reason why they rejected the advert is if you come down, Okay, there is a part where, um, let me just see. Um, um, um. So if you see here, it's, I say, I, I said, um, it is time to take control of your financial future. Join our exclusive four-day training and unlock the secret to earning between $500 to $2,000 plus every month, just like I do as a successful digital marketer and content creator. This is the main reason why they have rejected the advert. So if I want them to accept it, I have to remove this one because if you go and look at the policy they are talking about, that policy says that you shouldn't talk. Let me just click here and then we see something. Um, if you come here, this link is not leading me to the policy details. So what I'll do is, you see earlier on, it says it is fraud, scams, and deceptive policy. So in order to know that policy in detail, you'll come. So this applies to any policy um, you may be violating. So you just come and type it and then add that Facebook. You see, so this is the policy. This is it. So it says we aim to protect users and businesses from being deceived out of their own property or personal information. We achieve this by removing content and combating behavior that purposefully employs deceptive means such as willful misrepresentation, stolen information and exaggerated claims to either scam or defraud users and businesses. And so that's what they are saying. Now, when you come here further, content that attempt to scam or defraud users or businesses by means of uh, offer loans, 
office loans um not we also look at other signals to determine if the entity is posting legitimate non fraudulent content such as so like you see they are saying gambling fraud and scams Com a content that offers real money or gambling services this one we are not actually um under this so if you look at the first one and the second one no i'm sure my own falls under the this one financial services it says investment opportunities content that offers investment opportunities offers investment opportunities where returns or, or, or compensation is partly or fully based on recruitment of others. That's network marketing. Offers investment opportunities where the opportunity is a get rich quick. Yeah, so um, they are classifying my own as under this particular finance uh, investment and financial fraud and scams. Meanwhile, my own is not actually a scam. It is a training that I'm going to train people where they can learn how to monetize their uh, content or they can do digital marketing. So if you look at that, so as I said, the main reason why they are they are rejecting it is the $500 to $2,000 I put there. So what I have to do for them to approve it is just to delete that part or to edit and remove that part. They don't want me to promise that they can get this amount of money because uh, the reason why they don't really allow that is some, some of them are exaggerated claims. Some people over exaggerate things and and at the end of the day, maybe the people that are coming, it's not everybody that will earn that amount, but people will have high expectations when there is something like that there. So I'm going to just remove it. So you can edit your advert. Sometimes too, it could be from the video. If it's from the video too, you change the video or you edit and remove something in the video they may not like. So I have removed that part and this is what I said. I said, um, join our exclusive four-day training and unlock the secret to being a successful digital marketer promoting your business online or learn how to to earn money as a content creator just like i do as a successful digital marketer and content creator so i'm going to publish it uh, i have published it successfully i have to now monitor within 30 minutes or between 30 and 48 hours the maximum is 24 hours for them to approve it but from now to the next 30 minutes they could approve it because normally it doesn't take too long in extreme cases it may take up to 24 hours but most of the time within 30 minutes to three hours it will be approved so that is it it's in review now if you follow this you will get your advert approved because on several occasions uh, when you have problems like this and I edit it just like I described to you, they approve it and the advert continue to run. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell and like this video for other more powerful videos. See you in the next video. You can leave your comments in the comment section if you follow this and you didn't get a solution. You can also follow the WhatsApp and Telegram link to contact me for assistance, but I do that as a fee. Once again, see you in the next video and bye-bye.